uh, the process has begun. I'm swapping the motor on my boat. Let me show you kind of everything I got going on. This is the new power head here. Came in this box. Repaint it, reman. I just gotta swap everything out. And that's where I'm at right now. It's kind of boring watching somebody remove stuff. Um, so I'll kind of cut in here and there showing you guys what I'm doing. Right now I'm just taking all the uh, fuel system off. Then I'll kind of work with the electrical. Then I'll get all that stuff out of the way. Kind of just piece by piece so I can remember what's what. I have an automotive background so this is nothing new to me. It's kind of easy, simple work. Save yourself a lot of money if you know this stuff. But yeah, I'll kind of walk you guys through it a little bit. I don't want to sit there and record the whole thing. It's kind of boring. So we'll do the steps and uh, yeah, we'll be up and running probably in a couple days. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't run into anything, but should be good. So I got one of the fuel rails out with the injectors. I'm gonna take those one out. There's a uh, injection place that does fuel injectors and stuff. Gonna run it by there in the morning and get them to take care of that. That's probably my only hiccup. High pressure fuel pump, I take that apart. I'll probably just clean it real good, making sure no metals in there. Uh, this was the damage, this piston. Pretty sure the piston ring probably let go or something. If you look in there real good, in one of the, uh, I can't think, one of the ports, you can see a chunk of metal down there that let go. But for right now, we're just gonna take the fuel system, oil, all that stuff out of the way, and uh, just do it piece by piece. Well, I think I'm at a stopping point for today. Got the throttle body, the reeds out, uh, just the fuse panel, uh, fuse, yeah, the fuse panel. The wiring, I got it kind of hanging on there. I put it back for right now. Yes, dude. Yes, stop. Uh, see, got the fuel on this side off. Got the wiring harness, computer, all that stuff out of the way. Need to take the fuel pump out. I think I'll do that before I quit today. Got this head. I got all the oil stuff off on this side. Only thing left now is just unbolt down here. Take the shift shaft or shifter, I could say. Take that off. Look at the damage that's Daddy. in there. I don't know if you can see in there. Daddy, what? Can you still go that way? Can turn on the flashlight so you can see in there. Daddy. Uh, see how dry that bathroom Daddy. looks? Yeah. I can go back to my iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, my son's driving me crazy right now. You can see how dry it is in there. Compared to the... Give me another one. Look at that one. It's got oil. For some reason, this one was extremely dry. There you can see it. Yeah, doing the best I can. There we go. Compared to like what these look like. Uh, so that's the stopping point for today. Tomorrow, we'll get it off and remove the little bitty things and put the new one on. Also, here's a little tip. If you're not good at remembering stuff and you don't always have to put stuff in Ziploc bags and label it, what you do is if you take something off, like say this fuse panel here for for instance, uh, when you take it off, just put the bolt back in the hole, like here. I have two grounding wires that go right here. So I put the bolts back. So when I come back, you know, and I have wires left over, I'll just go to the old block and get it. And I know that goes there. I try and do that for a lot of stuff, just put the bolts nuts back on it makes it a lot easier than having to put them in packages trying to remember and all that stuff so stick them back in there until it's time to put everything back together and you know where they go same thing stuck the old bolts back in a block that way when i put whatever part back i can go to the other block grab it out put it back on there it's good to go well welcome back day two and uh, I think we're ready to pull the power head. But anyways, I went to my buddies and borrowed his uh, engine hoist, cherry picker. I guess he let me have it. It's mine now, I guess. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's ready to go. Took all this stuff down here off. Everything's out of the way. Injectors are getting serviced. I dropped those off this morning. I meant to take the camera and take you through the process if you guys are here local. That way you can know where to do it. But uh, when I go to pick them up, I'll take them back and I'll record the whole thing. 
but uh yeah ready to pull this bad boy off i just gotta take these covers off right here uh, those hold the bolts from underneath and we'll pull it out Well, I got it off. Uh, it says it weighs about 210 pounds, but I got to get that and this hole all the way up there. So yeah, I probably won't be able to do that. And the other thing is, I uh, got to trim the motor up, which isn't that bad. You got a manual screw right here. I want you hit that screw, hit a I just need somebody to pick it up while I turn it. My wife will probably turn it and help me out. One of the two. But I'm done for today. Now it's just getting that beast up there and swapping over all the fuel pump stuff and putting it all back together. And then bringing that one. My injectors won't be back till Monday. So we've got a couple days to finish. In the meantime, I'm done for today. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, stay tuned. We'll have this bad boy running here pretty soon. Yeah, I'm out.